chocolate, one strawberry. You want anything, boy? No, Dottie's waiting for me. I gotta leave in a couple of minutes. Two malts, 50 cents. Here's your chance, Kelly. Double or nothing. How do I know you've got the other half? Kelly, sometimes I don't think you're ever gonna get rich. Sometimes I worry about that myself. Hey, Rich, how about you and the other guys going horseback riding with me and Don? Oh, we can't do it. I've been working all week on my boat, and it's running real good, and we're gonna go water skiing. Oh, you guys, what a drag. All you ever do is water ski. You wanna come along? No, I promised Dottie. Anyway, she's waiting for me at the stables. I'll tell you what. You go riding, we'll go water skiing, and I'll pick you up at 4 o'clock at the stables. Then we'll figure out something for tonight. You pick us up for sure? You know I wouldn't hang you up. Well, okay. I'll tell Dot, and I'll meet you at 4. Tell her I said to keep an eye on you. Oh, yeah, and check the stirrups. So big wind might come up. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Hiya, half pint. Where are you going? I'll never tell. What's the matter with him? Oh, he's been eating too much hay. He doesn't want to go water skiing. <laughs> wow. I mean, how weird can you get, huh? Are you ready? Yep, all set. Pam's making a lunch. Hey, and guess where we're going to eat it? In the boat? Nope. On an island. An island? Yeah, it's a real guess. Some guys told me about it. I've been all over that water, and I've never seen any island. You never went that far out. It's way out where, where the water's too rough to go skiing. Sounds crazy, Reg. Are you going to believe this scam? He's always coming up with some long shot. This time, it's an island. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do. If that island isn't there, I'll buy two new carburetors for your boat, and I'll put them both in myself. Come on, Rex, let's find out. All right. I told you this island was here. Nobody ever believes me. Funny we never knew about it. We do now. And it'll make a crazy spot for beach parties. Let's take a look around. Yeah, let's. Let's get out of here.
Well, they couldn't have taken it far. Who couldn't have? Well, the people on this island. Maybe it floated out. No! I tied it real good. Well, let's not get panicky. It has to be somewhere on the shore, so let's circle around it. This sure beats me. No landing, dock, or anything. They might have tied it up at a better place. We better go see. Not me. Julie and I'll wait for you here. <laughs> Well, the kids who ran off. How do you do? Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, we're, uh, we're looking for a boat. A boat? I tied it up down at the beach about an hour ago, and now it's gone. Won't you come in? I'll get you a soft drink. Oh, thanks, ma'am. Oh, yeah, uh, a soft drink. That'll be fine. Now, tell me about your boat. Have you got it? Your boat? Of course not. I've been here all day. Well, someone took it. And if we're not supposed to be here, well, we're sorry. I mean, if you'll just give us our boat back, we won't come back anymore. But I've told you, I haven't taken your boat. What kind of a place is this? I mean, who's in charge here? Someone knows where our boat is. Well, I'm afraid I'm the only one you can talk to. We've walked all around this island. Now, where do you keep your boat? We have no boats here. Well, then how do you get back and forth to shore? Walk? You're certainly an inquisitive young man. We have no use for boats here, because no one leaves the island. Hey, Reg, remember that boat we saw last month without any skaters? Yeah, they must have been headed here. Whoever you saw, I'm sure was going elsewhere. Look, we don't care who comes here and who doesn't. But I think you know where our boat is, and we want it. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Okay, if that's the way you want it, we're going to go see the sheriff. Yeah, you certainly have a lot of courage. It's very flattering. Hey, that sounds like Julie and Pam. What are the girls doing here? Where are they? I'll find out for you. Ivan? Ivan, are the two girls there?
That's fine, Ivan. We'll be down to see them. Your friends are downstairs. Come with me. have to excuse Ivan's manners. He's very strong and sometimes forgets himself. If you behave yourselves, he'll not hurt you. Hey, well, what are you going to do with us? I'll first answer your other question. We've taken care of your boat, and none of you will leave here. Instead, you will help me in some very important work. No one asked you here, but your curious nature will in turn aid me very much. Look, what kind of a creep joint is this? A place of research and discovery. A place where science is free from the interference of stupid politicians. Oh, yeah? Well, you won't get away with it. We've got some friends waiting for us. When we don't show up, they're going to follow us out here looking for us, and they're going to bust up this whole weird place. Please let us go. We'll promise never to tell anyone about it. I'm afraid that's impossible. And as far as someone discovering this island, well, that doesn't bother me in the least. You'll have to excuse me now. I have work to do. Remember what I said. Behave yourselves and you won't get hurt. Come, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kent. What you doing? I'm looking for Red. You seen him? No, not since you were here this morning. How about Skipper Julie? No, they all left together right after you did. They were supposed to pick Dottie and me up two hours ago at the stables. Well, they went out in the boat, didn't they? Yeah. You think they might have had an accident? I don't know. When they didn't show up at the stables, I thought maybe Reg might have forgot. But since they haven't been here either, I don't know what to think. Maybe they ran out of gas. Well, if they ran out of gas, they could have paddled in. It wouldn't have taken them this long. Where's Dottie? Well, oh, she's still waiting down at the stables. You know, Maury, I've never been out there, but I understand those waters can be treacherous at times. I think the wisest thing for you to do is go see the sheriff. You'll know what to do. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll uh, get Tommy to drive you out. Better stop by and pick up Dottie first. Yeah. I hope so. I'm, I'm Maury Timms. I, I live over in Compton County. Uh, so does Dottie. Well, what can I do for you, Maury? Well, we went water skiing today. No, I, uh, I mean, we didn't go water skiing. We, we went horseback riding, but, well, Reg and the other kids... Don't let me tell him, Maury. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Well, the kids we run around with, four of them, they went water skiing, and they were supposed to pick us up at four o'clock. Uh, at the stables, where we went riding. But they didn't come, not at four or five or six. What kind of a boat did they have? Well, it's well, it's got a homemade hull and a souped-up V8 engine. Was it likely to break down? Well, no, I don't think so. You see, Reg, well, he keeps it in tip-top condition all the time. Well, I think you better talk to the sheriff about this.
All right. Let's hear all about it. Well, we were afraid the boat tipped over something because they were supposed to pick us up a long time ago. Yeah. What direction they went? No, they just went water skiing. No special direction. Well, now, we have about 800 square miles of water out there. That'll be difficult for us to search an area like but that. But you got to do something. You just got to. Now, now, don't misunderstand me. We'll do the very best we can, of course. You tell Regan to pick up searching immediately. You and I will relieve him at 5 in the morning. Can we go with him? I'm afraid not, miss. It's practically dark. Do you kids have a car? Well, no, not one of my own. Then I'll drive you two home. Oh, uh, thanks, but could you drive me down to Reggie's car? I'd like to drive it. Reggie doesn't like to leave it outside. All right. Any luck, Sheriff? I'm sorry, son. Nothing yet. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hey, let's take one of Wally's boats and look around. Wally won't mind. You know, as we were pulling up, I could have sworn I saw somebody walking. You must be carried away. If they were here, we'd have seen the boat. Look! I told you I saw somebody. Come on!
Are you looking for someone? Uh, <clears throat> we saw a man back there. We were uh, trying to find him. He's gone now. Can I help you? Well, I, I guess you can. Uh, we were going to ask him if, if he saw anybody, uh, four kids, in a boat around here yesterday. Well, I'm sure he didn't. Neither did I. You see, we were both inside all day yesterday. Do you live here? Of course. Would you like to take a rest? Uh, no, I, uh, we, we better get going. You see, we're searching the water for our friends. We think they might have drowned. Why, that's terrible. I hope to find them safe and well. Are you sure you wouldn't like a sandwich or something before you go? Um, uh, no, I, I think not. Uh, uh, thanks anyway. Uh, <sighs> I bet you don't get many visitors out here. No one ever comes here. Oh, um, well, uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, thanks for the information. snoopers we saw by the water. Just some kids looking for their friends. I don't like people around here. There's too much at stake. You know people are of no concern. Besides, I'm the one who has to stay here, not you. A slip up now will ruin everything. You don't have to worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. That's what we're here to find out. How is the work progressing? Very well. I hope to complete phase three this week. Phase three? You were on that the last time we were here. And now it's nearly completed. What do you expect in four months? We expect results. We must have results, and soon. Tell me, Doctor, what's the chance of finishing the research within six weeks? You mean the research or the actual completion of a perfect capsule? I mean the completion of 5,000 capsules, ready to drop. I received orders from the East that we must move in another direction unless your capsules are ready in time. You mean hydrogen bombs? Yes. Fools. The stupid fools. What good is land that you can't use or go near for years? You know, of course, that we don't control these things. Well, what about it? Can you speed up the work? It is possible. But I've run into a factor that may give us trouble. Come and see for yourself. capsule that was used on subject one. It proved much too strong as the subject died in five hours. I worked out this highly concentrated buffer and tested it on four separate subjects. And the results? About zero consistency. Have a look. If 
you'll notice the subjects are direct opposites. One has no spark, no desire for anything. The other teams with rage. What about that fellow we saw last month? His reaction was perfect. Ivan, the perfect slave, desire to work, perfect health, and obeys every command. With half the people on Earth in his condition, we'd have the epitome of civilization. In the bombing of the United States, how many would turn out like him? Not enough to take care of the wild ones. You couldn't possibly drop the pellets as they now exist. Then you must find out what it is about Ivan that produced the effect. I've performed every practical test on him. His body chemistry is basically the same as the rest. Well, you'll have to figure it out. I don't believe it can be done in short time. But there is an alternative. What's that? It might prove dangerous. But if time is of the essence... I worked out a formula using a completely different paralyzing agent. It rushes directly to the nervous system and can be dropped as a gas. And also, it will be difficult to detect in the American water systems. Is it dangerous to us? Not in the way you would imagine. The problem is, it can be contracted. You mean it's not lasting? Effective and lasting. Until someone discovers what would bring the subjects back to normal. Can't you do something? Strengthen it? You want the people alive and strong so they can work and obey their superiors. If I increase the gas, they'd mostly die. But if they cannot think for themselves, how can they possibly reason a counter-agent would help them? That's where we would have to gamble. At least until we had time to develop a second gas. How effective is it? I'll give you a demonstration. Ivan, I'm preparing a test. Be ready to stand by. You'll now be able to see the effect taken by a near human subject. I think you'll agree this one has plenty of fight in him. of seconds is temper completely suppressed. I won't even have to lock him up anymore. Although unlike a man, he's not useful. After I run some tests, Ivan will destroy him. no conscious feeling at all. From now on, he'll move exactly as he's directed. If only this could be permanent. If only we hadn't been betrayed. We'd have the time. What are you talking about? Who betrayed us? Do you remember Felis, our contact in South America? The one that helped you with the passport? Very well. I last saw him in Buenos Aires. The reason that passport looked so good was because it was a legitimate one. We recently found out that he was a United States federal agent. Where is he now? Dead. But we don't know whether or not he had enough time to contact his office about this operation. This is the reason for the change in time element. If he did talk to the Pentagon, they'd soon find this place. Then it's up to you. If you want to take a chance with what you saw, then I'll hurry along with the final tests. I have four human subjects to use. Four new ones? The friends of those kids you saw outside. 
Are you sure they won't be back? I rather doubt it. But if they do, we can handle them. We better stay here a few days, just in case. Major Coleman is here. Would you send him right in, please? Did you bring everything they found? His suitcase contained mostly clothing and personal belongings. I have all the papers we located, but I'm afraid they don't help much. He couldn't carry anything of importance with him. Is there any chance of finding the body? If we do, it probably won't tell us much. The murderer has undoubtedly checked his clothing. Everything addressed to Felix. Is that the only name he used? He used the name Felix in Argentina and Mexico. Even the police in Buenos Aires were unaware of his identity. We have other agents in Buenos Aires. Why didn't he contact them? Colonel, we felt this assignment was the most critical we've ever been on. We tried to avoid any possible channel of detection, even our own agents. Your caution certainly didn't seem to pay off. Well, I suppose you're right. But we do have one thing, a photograph. This might lead us to their headquarters. First, we're sending copies of this photo to every law enforcement agency in the country. Every city, county, and state officer will be on the lookout for her. Second, we'll detach troops from bases in this area and cover the entire state. When we finish there, we'll move to another until we've covered the western states, then move eastward. I'll contact General Mundy for additional helicopters in that area. With your permission, sir, I'd like to also request Marine and Navy helicopters and every reconnaissance plane the Air Force has available. That's a big order. I hope we can fill it. It must be filled. Do you realize, Colonel, that if we don't find their base and stop them now, before they distribute this gas in rivers and water supplies across the nation, we'll be able to save at best 20% of the population when they strike. That's it. Clean as a whistle. Come on. the wall, quick. you. Every time he comes here, I'm afraid he's going to open the door. The way he looks at me. I don't think he can do a thing unless he's told to. He must be under some powerful drug. Maybe he can't hear us when we talk. Oh, he can hear us all right. Look, it's a good thing he didn't notice the broken lock. He probably won't be back for a while. You'll have time to open ours. No, I think we better wait till the last minute. Well, if he notices the broken lock, we'll be cooked. But now you've got the time. 
I love Julie. Getting out, of, getting out of these cages isn't even half the battle. If we can get through that hall and outside, we've got a chance. But we've still got to get off this island, and we can't swim. Hey, look. Look, Reg and I can sneak out of here tonight after it gets dark. Then we can go down by the water and, and look for the boat, huh? If you find it, we'll still be locked up here. And what happens if you don't find it? It's got to be around here somewhere. And if there's anyone out there, Skip and I alone will have a better chance of not being seen. Yeah. Now we'll be back before morning with the boat all set up. Then we make a run for it, hop in the boat and take off. It sounds fine. Except if anything goes wrong, we're still locked in here. Can't you fix this lock before you go? I don't think we'll be as lucky with that one. We'll probably have to break it into pieces. If he comes back here tonight, he'll notice it for sure. Hey, look, look, when everything's all ready, a little noise won't matter then. A couple of good whacks and we're all set. Reg, be careful out there. If they see you, they'll now, probably... Julie, forget it. We'll be back before daylight. And if they do catch us, we can't be any worse off than we are right now. Probably dark by now. Come on. Skip, come on. Sun's nearly up. Yeah. Sort of hate to face the girls. If I were a channel swimmer, I could make it in about 10 hours. We hadn't walked around so much, we could have built a raft. Wait a minute. We could still get a good start on it. You know, Skip, sometimes you really amaze me. Come on.
Did you find it? Can we get out of here? Well, it's almost daylight. We'll have to wait. But you found the boat. No. But it's okay. We're building a raft. A raft? It's our only chance. We'll have it finished tomorrow night, then we take off. Hey, we better get inside. They might be getting up. Right. And we better get some sleep. Now. Oh, come on. Reg is right. Let's get some rest. We hid it down by the water. Just keep your fingers crossed that they don't find it. Oh, the sheriff, please. Oh, that's right, the sheriff's office. Thank you. Sheriff's office. Johnson. Uh, hello? Hello, this is Maury Tins. Yeah, Maury. Uh, listen, we were out in the boat today, and we came across something real strange. Oh, we found this island. We think the kids might be there. I see. Well, look, Maury, I'm due to go out on a call right now. The sheriff isn't here, so you'd better go see him in his home. His address is 233 Elmwood Road. Can you find it? Well, yeah, I guess so. Oh, we're not too far from there. I'll leave right now and catch him. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Kids, come on in. Sorry to have to bother you at home, Sheriff. Oh, that's all right, but we still haven't found anything. I think we did. Not a boat or anything, but we found something that sure looked funny. Well, what'd you see? Well, we were out there in the water, in, in this boat we borrowed. Well, we were looking all around like you. Well, we went way over toward the east. Must have gone about, oh, 30, 40 miles. We came to this real weird place. It was an island. Yeah, real strange like. I didn't even know it was there before. Well, that must be Mullet Island. There used to be some buildings on it about 50 years ago. That sounds like it. Well, anyway, we thought it was worth looking at, so we went there and we talked to this woman. And you she... talked to someone on Mullet Island? Yeah, she lived there. I can't believe anyone could be living on that old island. There's no facilities. She lives there, all right. We saw her. Well, how odd. I wonder why anyone would pick that place. Well, what'd she say? Had she seen anything of the boat or the kids? She said she hadn't seen anybody, but we think she was lying. Now, what makes you think that? Well, we didn't think too much about it at the time. We wanted to look around the water some more, but Donnie brought it up on the way back. I'm sure she lied to us, Sheriff, and she might know something about the kids she's not telling. Now, wait a minute. If people want to live in isolation, that's their own business. They have that right. Don't you jump to conclusions just because this woman may have looked, uh, well, a little odd. It's not that. It's, well, she... Now, look here. You're all upset about this thing. And it's a terrible experience. But do you really think that a person, well, anyone, would see your friends and then deliberately say they hadn't? What possible reason could they have? We don't know. That's why we came to you. I think you both let your imaginations run away with you. Now, I suggest you go home and let me handle this search. But I have to tell you the truth. I'm not too optimistic about it, after all the area we've covered. Have you been out to the island? Now, do you actually believe that your friends would go out there and stay this long? Well, no. Not unless they couldn't get off. She lied to us, Sheriff. I know she did. She told us no one ever came out there. And as we left, a boat was just arriving. Have you kids been home to dinner or any place since coming back from out there? No, we didn't want to waste any time looking for you. All right. 
we get the boat now and ride out there and have a look around, will that give you any satisfaction? Yeah, but, well, if we find anything, are you sure you can handle it by yourself? I think so, Maury. And if not, I've got a radio in the boat. It'll take a few minutes for the solution to drop to the right temperature before I can combine it. Will there be a temperature problem in the water supplies? Not after I once set the exact formula. The molecules will spread rapidly and actually become a part of the water. And you say it'll only take a few hours to reach the full effect? Between one and three hours, the bacteria should be everywhere. By that you mean including the nerve gas? The pellets can be of any size you think necessary. Large ones will, of course, spread more gas rapidly in the essential areas. I just hope the effects are as good as we anticipate. You won't be disappointed. I'm about ready for the test. If you'll excuse me a second. Ivan, we're ready for the two girls. Would you bring them in, please? Get out! Kill them. Oh, we can't rush them. They must have guns. But we'd have only gotten out of here last night. Now, gentlemen, if you'll watch carefully, you'll see the exact effect working on the human system. Well, look who we have here. How are you, Mr. Sheriff? 
Not so good. I've got a couple of real inquisitive kids here. I knew there'd be trouble. They won't be any trouble. I think they'll help us instead. What's going on here, Sheriff? Who are these people? Lori, look! It's Julie and Pam! You see? You see, she did lie. The kids are prisoners here. Not prisoners. We prefer to call all of you our guests. Ivan. Sheriff, do something. Sheriff! Sheriff, let us go! Then do you no good. The sheriff won't help you. I'd like to talk to you, Doctor. Well, certainly, Sheriff. What is it? Look, our deal was that I'd supply you with drunks and prisoners. But this time, you've gone too far. These subjects are no different from the ones you brought me. No, except that they have families that want to find them. This search is getting publicity on the outside, and I can't control it. We can't stop now. Not for anything. You have to give us a little more time. We'll have to move fast. But we'll need some pieces of pipe. Or clubs. I'll see what I can find. Keep our wits about this thing. After all, we haven't been discovered yet. And I don't believe we'll need any more people over here. What do you think, Doctor? I was never one to complain over a simple problem. Simple problem? Do you realize? I do that... realize. And I also understand thoroughly what we're all expected to do. I'm doing my job under the same conditions as you. Only I don't complain about every problem I run into. Very well, then. Perhaps you should appoint someone to take my place. Perhaps we will. All right. Do what you think best. Let me know what you decide. We certainly will. The fool. Didn't he know that none can quit? We'll have to hurry now. Ivan, take him outside. Where do you want these two? Keep them there. They'll serve as a second test. Look, we've got to move now or it's too late. Go to the door and let the girls out. What's that? On your feet! Come on! Hurry, Rich! Let's get the girls out! Hmm. 
can't open that door. But she can. Come on. Come on. All right, go open that door right now. You keep him covered, Maury. Right. Mines are gone, just like the rest. Yeah, well, she knows how to bring around, and she's gonna do it. All right, get started. Started with what? You know what I mean, something to take care of Julie and Pam. There's nothing I can do for them. And you'd rather feel a few bullets burn through you. Go ahead and kill me if you like, if that will help them. Look, you invented this stuff. It figures you can do something about it. If I could, I wouldn't, so you're wasting your time. Your time's gonna burn out if you don't do what I say. Hey, hey, listen, Reg. When that gas is poured on someone, they lose their will, don't they? Yeah. After that, they do as they're told. Yeah, I see what you mean. Okay. Which way do you want it? All right, then get moving. Tell them don't go through it. Quiet, you fool! How do you release the stuff? Hey, I think this is it right here. that again. All right, now. Now, let's have it. Come on. Now, you know what we want. Come on. Something that'll fix the girls. Come on, now. I'm not kidding. Hold it, Skip. You understand me? Hold it. I mean it. We're doing something wrong. You two guys, come over here. All right. If you guys want to stay alive, you better do as we say. We can do nothing. Tell me how to get through to her. I don't know. We're not scientists. You know all about this gas, though. Hey, maybe she's an exception. What do you say we put one of them in there, huh? We'll get them to talk. Yeah, I'll buy that. Okay, you. Let's go. I said move. No, wait. I'll tell you. I don't know exactly which one it is, but if I show us where it is. I think that's the one. Well, she, she only mentioned it once. I think that's the mixture to counteract the gas. Now, this might be poison. Well, let's give it to her first.
You all right? together. We have to stop them. The police boat. We'll have to put it away with the other boats before they reach it. I doubt if you can make it to the water. Let's go! With pleasure. The Army will be very grateful to you kids. You know, it's funny that the picture of that woman just arrived this morning. You know, I'll bet if that sheriff had been here, you wouldn't have seen it at all. I guess you're right, Maury. I expect a full investigation of this office. We had a lot of prisoners unaccounted for. We saw quite a few men on the island. I guess they must have been the ones. Poor devils. I hope we can do something for them. I'm Major Coleman. Are you Johnson? I was placed in temporary charge of the substation. From what I understand, the job will be permanent. And these must be the kids that cracked a ring the Army couldn't even locate. They sure did, sir. And we're mighty proud of them. Well, if we did anything, sir, it was to save our own neck. <laughs> most of us were scared stiff most of the time. Nonetheless, you accomplished it. And you performed a great service. This group was the largest menace to United States security we've ever had. Wow. Hey, you think maybe we'll get a medal, huh? Oh, there you go. I swear, Skip, you remind me of a walking comic book. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with being famous? I can just see the headlines. 
Football star fighting for bravery. Oh. Football star? <laughs> if you ever get off the bench, I'll personally give you a medal. Oh, wow, Pam. You sure are a drag, you know that? Hey, uh, what was talking about next year? I believe there'll be rewards for all of you. In a few days, you'll be going to Washington, D.C., where you'll be interviewed by the president himself. In the meantime, if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. <clears throat> Major Coleman. Yes? Did you say you'd do anything we asked, sir? If it's at all possible, of course. Well, sir, I, uh... I mean, Skip and I, we, we sort of... Well, sir, there's a secret boat dock somewhere on that island. And we looked and looked for it. And I'm going to flip if I don't see it. Can we go with you when you go to search for it? I've got something at stake, you know. My boat's there, and I've got to get it back. Son, I'm sure you're perfectly welcome. Come back in about two hours, and we'll be glad to take you with us. Thank you, sir. Hey, crazy. Hey, what about that? Well, what do you say we all have a ball, huh? Let's go water ski. Yeah. What do we use for a boat? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Anybody for horseback riding? Ah! Oh! 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 Oh!